Hello, and welcome to today's demonstration of the Select Grafana dashboards for SCOM. The Grafana dashboards for SCOM provide an overview of the state of your IT infrastructure, um, as well as the operation of a SCOM itself. So a lot of use cases for these dashboards, um, just some general sharing of IT status with uh, stakeholders within your environment, but also gives you an opportunity to drill down and see what SCOM itself is doing. Um, particularly important if you're running, say, SCOM managed instance and care about uh, the costs that it's incurring, this will give you great visibility in into some of the inner workings of SCOM. Um, if you're not familiar with Grafana, it's a simple tool, great, offers great visuals and, and great analytical capabilities. It's very easy to work with. There are free editions of Grafana available, uh, both on-prem and cloud. And you can download the dashboards that we're going to take a look at at siloc.com slash Grafana. So before I import the dashboards into my Grafana instance, in this case, I'm using the, the free open source version, which is running locally within our environment. Um, I'm going to define two SQL data sources, one for the SCOM database and one for the SCOM data warehouse. After I do that, I'm going to import the new dashboards. And let's go ahead and select new import. When I do the import, it's going to prompt me for those two SQL data sources. One data source being the Ops Manager DB, the other being the Data Warehouse. And as you can see, right away it gets populated with uh, operational data from my SCOM environment. So this opening status screen is showing us some information about the current state of our environment, showing the endpoints that are being monitored, uh, the alerts that are active, as well as the overall health state of the um, endpoints that are being monitored by SCOM. Something else to point out before we go forward and look at the other dashboards is the filtering that Grafana provides and some of the customization capabilities. So we do have a default filter to seven days, which we can adjust to provide, uh, to go over any time span, really. And this will apply to not only the current status dashboard that we're looking at, but all the subsequent dashboards we're gonna take a look at in just a minute. The other thing is these dashboards are highly customizable. So it's very, very easy to, if for example, you wanted to remove uh, one of these uh, widgets, you simply click on the remove button and that'll take that widget away. And towards the end of this video, I'm gonna show you how to add new widgets using the information that it's already collected. Now, the suite of dashboards that we provide consists of, uh, well, a dozen or so different um, pages. And so we can look into each of these pages. The first, the first couple deal with uh, the state of your SCOM environment itself and uh, alerts, uh, alert severity, here's history. Um, the filter here at the top right of the dashboard will allow me to specify a range of time the default is seven days, but you can certainly go and look back over a further period of time if you want to see some trends uh, within your environment. Uh, that is certainly an option. Now, further below, the other pages that we provide show more information about uh, the, the state of SCOM itself. So, for example, I can see which, alert, which management packs are generating the most alerts within my environment. Again, based on this time range that I've selected. We can take a look at the, the health of SCOM itself. So I'm mean, here I'm getting a view of some of the key components of SCOM to make sure they're healthy and in good shape, including the database components and database sizes. Uh, further down, I can see configuration churn. So here is you know sort of looking inside the activity within the SCOM environment, showing me changes that are happening in configuration churn that is happening within my SCOM environment. See a chart of daily changes. As you can see, it's over that same 30-day time period that we selected. I can see more details about the um, events that are being collected by SCOM and being processed by the SCOM environment. And a lot of really good details showing me uh, what SCOM is doing. Um, if, for example, I'm using uh, SCOM uh, managed instance and so I'm starting to run up 
uh, charges based on the amount of storage, the amount of activity within the SCOM environment. Um, I can use this information to help me, you know, perhaps tweak some of the settings within SCOM to allow me to uh, maintain my, uh, contain my costs of running SCOM MI. Um, performance collection as well. You'll see this is just taking a minute to run these queries because we are going over a span of 30 days. So it does take a minute to run uh, these queries against the data warehouse, but we'll get it, uh, information about the, the perf counter data that's being collected by SCOM. So the last thing I want to show is how you can easily add new widgets to the dashboards using the queries we've already developed. So let's go ahead and add a new visualization. And perhaps in this scenario, I want to find my endpoints that are creating the most alerts within the environment. I'm going to choose one of the queries we have here. So let's go ahead and use uh, uh, query all alerts. And by default, Grafana tries to put this in a time series database, which um, I actually much prefer to just work with a table so I can see the data that we're working with. But I'm going to want to transform this data. So let's click on the transform data. Let's add a transformation. I'm going to group by server name. I basically want to get a count of alerts per server. So let's go find the server name. And I'm going to group by that particular field. And then what I want to do is I want to calculate the number of alerts and select the stats. So we want to do a count for this particular. So here I can see the server name, the count of alerts. And now let's go back to some other visualization that makes more sense, maybe a bar chart. Um, let's do it vertical, or sorry, horizontal. And so there I'm seeing a list of my endpoints and the total count of alerts that have transpired over this period of time. Let's go ahead and apply. And now I can see that new widget appearing up here. If I want to make a change to the size of that widget, we simply drag and drop. 